So we're here at Capstone in the Lower Ninth and the students are doing various projects. One of the things they're working on is a project that uh, we've had proposed several times at school that we never have done because of the problem of uh, once you start one of these systems you need to go year round and students disappear in the summertime. And so so I vetoed it all the time. But it's a, it's a, Dave's done a great example of um, the idea and that is this uh, aquaponic system where you're growing both animal protein and plants. So in this particular case growing uh, various uh, uh, broadleafed uh, plants and the fish is catfish. So this is a, a system where we have this, this porous media, so it's, it's very, um, uh, a lot of air spaces in here. It's a lot of places for um, bacteria to establish and grow. And essentially this is a denitrifying system. So we have the fish growing in the, there's a, about a three foot deep water pond over there. Um, and there's fish living in there. In this case, the fish is catfish and they're doing their catfish stuff and eating, they're, they're grazers, eating algae and stuff like that, and then when they're done, they're pooping, and the, the waste is essentially getting circulated around as it comes through these systems. Um, uh, these systems are inoculating with denitrifying bacteria, so they're, they're making the nitrogen into a usable biological form, and then that stuff is then fertilizing the plants, the plants are growing, and so these guys can harvest both the plants and or the uh, animal uh, biomass, and so these guys, so, they, so they, this is about a three foot deep pond over there in this little bit of shade in this hoop house. So about three foot deep water. They, um, the goal here is to have a standing stock of about 500 pounds of fish biomass at any one time. So they're shooting for about 200 uh, catfish in there, so each about two and a half pounds. And then they would just be harvesting continuously and harvesting the plants continuously, harvesting the, the, the fish continuously. They first put water, we're filming this in March of 2016. They first put water in there in August of 2015 and started circulating it through the initial system, getting the uh, system seasoned, as it were. And then uh, they added the fish in October of 2015. And what we're doing today with our students, we're, we're building capacity. So um, we have some different cells here of this media that we're, we, we pass the water through that are, that are growing, um, essentially growing beds, hydroponic growing beds for plants. And that's what we're doing. So. So uh, we're adding on additional, we're building additional uh, pens. So the students, you can see the students out there, they're in this case getting ready to put the uh, impregnable layer, which is this little little um, uh, black guy here. So this, is, so this is obviously wood, and so if it's just wet, it would rot away. So the idea is we seal it up, and uh, once it's sealed up, um, actually, let's look over here. Let's look at these guys. These guys are installing it right here. So they've cleaned out the bed, so it's nice and smooth. There's no sharp objects because you don't want anything that will poke and, and create a little leak or a tear. Even a little teeny uh, tear is, is hugely problematic here because you want to contain all the water. So they're going to drop this guy down. Okay, Tom, come over here. And so, uh, so the idea here is you want to keep it nice and smooth. They're going to lay it down, and they've put... Uh, uh, sand in the little cracks so that there's no that there's no um, rough edges or no significant gaps where the where the uh, membrane could be pulled into or torn. And they'll they'll start by stapling one side and getting it all nice and tight, and then they'll slowly work around to a nice even um, a seal. And then we'll be adding in the media. And so we'll have additional capacity here in the hydroponic system here at Capstone in the Lower Ninth Ward in New Orleans, Louisiana.